Hey guys, so I am going to be doing one more or reading tonight on the beautiful Catherine McBroom. So I heard that she is ending her marriage, which I'm really happy for her about because Austin has been, I believe her, name, her husband's name is Austin. Austin's been cheating on her for a really long time. I never did a reading on them because I heard that Austin like threatens legal action on anybody who talks about his marriage. I don't know. So I didn't want to get involved in that. But since they are getting divorced and it seems like every news outlet has stated that he's been cheating on her. He's been cheating on her. He is a serial cheater. You could see it in his eyes. Always look at somebody's eyes. Like, he just looks like a snake in his eyes. So, Catherine has been held hostage in this relationship for years. And I do feel like there's a possibility of this relationship being an open relationship because I just, I have a feeling that she may have had like a little boyfriend or something on the side, but never really anything that she could discuss with the public, obviously. It could have been a little arrangement or agreement that she had with Austin. But now she is finally free and she is glowing. She has a gorgeous pink aura which talks about how compassionate and intuitive she is, especially when you see her crown chakra is beaming, guys. Her crown chakra is vibrant. It's a vibrant, gorgeous purple, which signifies that she is very intuitive. She is um, very spiritual as well. The pink with the purple go very well and they go hand in hand because it means that she's very in touch with her emotions. Most of the time, you really can't tap into your spiritual side unless you are in tune with your emotions. Okay, guys, so what I really feel like is going on with Catherine is that she finally has decided she wants to get married and she wants like a real marriage. She wants a traditional loyal marriage. Um, I do feel like there was a possibility that the relationship may have been open but very secretive and like nobody knew about it really, but she wants to get married now, okay? She doesn't want to just be playing around in the sand. She wants to get married. She wants the, the white picket fence and everything. So I really wouldn't be surprised if we saw Catherine get married in the next two years. Um, I think she wants to have that you know, union with somebody. She wants to live with somebody. I don't really feel like she's going to be very happy uh, single long term, which is absolutely fine. I mean, she has kids. She wants the family unit. She got cheated out of that with Austin, and now she wants the real deal. So that pink in her aura also tells me that she is going to attract a lot of suitors because her heart chakra is open. It's open and it's attracting people. Her, her, and this is why I tell everybody, like, it's not the way you look that always attracts uh, suitors or whatever. It's your energy. If you have a vibrant aura, like, like Catherine, for instance, she's going to attract so many people. And now I feel like a lot of blockages in her throat have been cleared. This is just going to help her even further attract people because I did a reading on her. I never posted it. I did a reading on her a while back. She had a lot of gray in her throat chakra. The fact that that's gone, Austin is not going to be happy with how, how many people are going to want to be with Catherine. So anyways, guys, um, if you see how vibrant that yellow aura is all around her, you know that she is shining and she is very much invested in working right now. I feel like she's going to be busy. She's going to be keeping herself busy. She has a lot of projects. Um, her creative side is really coming out. And I just feel like every aspect of her life is going to be enhanced. Like her, her aura is just illuminating. She's going to be attracting things easier. She's going to be manifesting things easier. Like literally, it's her with like the biggest road opener ever so let me know what you guys think in the comments below some of you guys probably are gonna have some nasty comments about Catherine leaving her husband and you know leaving the family unit 
But it's really hard for women to leave a relationship that they're not happy in. And I don't really think any of us should be judging her for that. Also, if anybody is messaging you pretending to be me, it's a scammer. Have a great day, everybody.